How to adjust base on computer. Need to get a little bit of a boost from your subwoofer? Adjusting the base levels on a computer can be a little confusing, since different hardware has different options. For many users, you may only be to adjust the volume. If that's the case, you can install system services that give you system-wide sound mixing options. Method 1 Windows 1. Check to see if your sound card has installed bass control options. In Windows, bass control is left to the sound processor software. If you don't have the ability to change the bass levels, proceed to step 2. Click the volume button. This is located in the system tray, at the lower, right corner of your desktop. Click the icon for your speakers or headphones. This will be at the top of the volume slider. Look for a bass slider. This may be labeled bass balance. Your sound process must support this feature, or it will not be present. Check both the levels and advanced tabs. You may not hear the changes you make to the slider until you click apply. 2. Enable Microsoft Bass Boost. While still in the Properties window for your output device, click the Enhancements tab and check the Bass Boost box. This will turn on Microsoft's Bass Boost technology. Click Settings, while you have Bass Boost selected. This will allow you to adjust the frequency and the boost for your bass. Make small changes at a time. If you crank up the bass boost right away, you might blow out your speakers. Check the specifications of your speakers to see the frequency and boost that they can support. Click Apply to test your changes. If you still can't get the control you need over the bass, proceed to step 3. 3. Download Equalizer APO This is an open, source equalizer object that affects all of your system's sound. It has very low system requirements, which allows it to run even when you're using hardware-intensive programs. You can download Equalizer APO from SourceForge. Equalizer APO requires Windows Vista or newer. Make sure to download the correct version depending on whether you use a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows. 4. Download an interface for Equalizer APO. Equalizer is a command line program, making it difficult to use quickly and effectively. There are several graphical interfaces that you can download for it for free. Peace is one of the most popular UIs for Equalizer APO. You can find a link to the Peace download from the Equalizer APO SourceForge page. 5. Run the Equalizer APO setup file. Follow the prompts to install the software. 6. Select your audio device. During the setup process, you will be prompted to select your primary audio device. If you aren't sure which is your primary audio device, open the control panel and then open the sound utility. The default device is your primary audio device. 7. Reboot your computer after installation. This will enable the new system equalizer. You may notice that your system volume is slightly lower after installing Equalizer APO. You'll be able to quickly fix this once you install the graphic equalizer. 8. Open the Equalizer APO. Config folder You can find this in the program files. The default location is C, Program Files Equalizer APO, Config. 9. Copy the PSEX file into the Config folder This will allow the PSE graphical equalizer to make changes to the equalizer APO settings. 10. Right, click on the new PSEX file and select Create Shortcut. Move the shortcut to your desktop so you can quickly access the program. Method 2 Mac OS X 1. Download and install Soundflower and AU Lab. OS X does not come with any built in base adjustment options. You will need to download and install special software that will allow you to create a system wide equalizer. Soundflower can be downloaded for free from Google Code. AU Lab can be downloaded from Apple and requires a free Apple developer ID. Reboot your computer after installing both programs. 2. Set your system volume to maximum. Do this from the volume slider in the menu bar or by using your keyboard's volume button. 3. Click the Apple menu and select System Preferences. 4. Click Sound and select the Output tab. 5. Select Soundflower, 2CH, from the list of outputs. 6. Start AU Lab.
you can find this in your utilities folder. 7. Click the Audio Input Device drop down menu. Select Sound Flower 2CH. 8. Click the Audio Output Device drop down menu. Select Stereo in Stereo Out. 9. Click Create Document. 10. Click the Effects drop down menu in the Output 1 column. Select AU Graphic EQ. 11. Adjust the EQ settings to your liking. It will help to have a song or video playing while you set the bass. 12. Save your equalizer settings. Press Command key CMD plus S and select a location for your settings file. 13. Click the AU Lab menu and select Preferences. Click the Document tab and select Open a specific document. Select the file you just created. 14. Right click on the AU Lab icon in your Utilities folder. Select Options Open at Login. AU Lab must be running in order for the equalizer to take effect. Method 3 Using Program Based Equalizers 1. Use Program Based Equalizers Many media players have an equalizer option that allows you to adjust the low and levels manually. Accessing the equalizer varies depending on the program you are using. Windows Media Player, switch to Now Playing Mode by clicking the button in the lower, right corner of the library window. Right, click on a blank space in the player. Select Enhancements Graphic Equalizer. Use the sliders on the left of the equalizer to adjust the base. iTunes, click the window menu and select Equalizer. Check the on box. Use the presets or the sliders on the left side to adjust the base level. VLC Player, click the Tools menu and select Effects and Filters. You can also press Ctrl plus E, click the Audio Effects tab and then the Graphic Equalizer tab if it isn't already open. Check the Enable box. Use the sliders on the left side to adjust the base. Tips Sound cards come with different capabilities and features. You might need to research a particular sound card if you want the ability to control advanced options such as bass levels.